Despite speculation that King Charles III isn't all enamored with how his son and daughter-in-law are raising his eldest grandchild, it's clear that Prince William and Princess Catherine are parenting in their own way. There will be no easy ride for Prince George, who's second in line for the throne. With that being said, at 10 years old, there's a lot of development for the youngster to undergo, and there's still tension within the family about how this development could shape up. His mother, Princess Catherine, is heartbroken after an argument with Prince William over where Prince George should go to secondary school, it has been claimed. Both William and his brother, Prince Harry, attend an Eton College, which was a break from the older generation's tradition of attending the Scottish boarding school, Gordonstown. While William wants George to go to Eton when he reaches the right age, Catherine isn't happy about the move. According to sources, she's keen to break away from the tradition as she was horribly bullied at her first boarding school and can't bear the thought of George suffering the same treatment. The royal senior attended girls' boarding school at Downhouse in Berkshire, which she reportedly hated and left mid-term. Middleton then moved to the co-ed boarding school at Marlborough College, located in Wiltshire, where she stayed for the rest of her schooling, and that's where she wants George to attend. In an interview promoting his tell-all memoir, Spare, Harry spoke about how hurt he was when William told him to pretend we don't know each other in school. As for King Charles, he was far more traditional and not interested in changing with the times. He would, like George, to follow in the footsteps of his elders and attend an elite boarding school. Therefore, his daughter-in-law is disagreeing about that, with understanding from the source is that Charles is a little too old-fashioned. A royal insider said Catherine thinks sending George to such a stuffy upper-crust institution goes against all their efforts to modernize the monarchy. Plus, she'll miss George desperately. The issue is said to be a major problem in the Wales household, and the couple have spent hours arguing over the decision. The princess long disagreed with her husband about sending him away, even though it's tradition. However, it's been reported that she has given in to William's wishes and agreed to his education request. It's also been revealed that the royal mum of three keeps in touch with their broad using a relatable app. With her shock cancer diagnosis and her subsequent stay at the London Clinic, it will undoubtedly have been a tough time for her three children. It's thought that the 41-year-old princess kept in touch with the youngsters using FaceTime, especially while Prince William was looking after the trio at Adelaide Cottage on the Windsor estate. You know, George is an inevitable position to being heir to the throne but it is unlikely it will ever come to power until he is in old age, rather likely to happen to his grandfather. King Charles III was left extremely proud by how his child performed his royal duties throughout the coronation in May. He was so enamored with his behavior that insiders even intimated that the new monarch wanted the preteen to begin taking on more royal tasks. Catherine and Charles are very similar in a lot of ways. They both love what the monarchy stands for and feel a deep duty to Britain. However, they're very different when it comes to how they think about the monarchy and how it should operate in 2023. To her, the king's words is not final when it comes to her children. She's been very clear about that, and if it starts a rift or even a fallout war, then so be it. In the future, as in second in line to the throne after his father, George will have to be separated from the rest of his royal family during travel plans next year. The prince will be separated from his father, Prince William, and his sister, Princess Charlotte, next year during travels as a royal ban takes force. The royal rule that limits the royals can travel together to the same place will come into effect when the young prince turns 12 in July 2025. It is unclear whether Prince George will fly in a separate plane to William, the Princess of Wales, and his two younger siblings, Charlotte and Louis, or if William will be the one to fly on his own while George travels with his mother and siblings.